a so first off do you know what if you're clicking on this video number one well done and number two just know that a part of your soul is curious and either you follow me because you want to know what is going on or you've clicked on it and gone hmm maybe a part of my soul knows that I've got an abandonment wound I would say any of you that have had a really difficult childhood if you're watching this you'll resonate with this at some point I promise you um, anyways I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about kind of like how my wound showed up um, what I've gone and done to tackle that and how I feel now so stay with me if you're curious okay so number one um, a couple of weeks ago I became very aware that I was feeling very afraid of losing everything and I don't know where that came from you know at the end of the day I've moved to St Neots I'm really happy here it's really beautiful but I became aware that I was becoming really fearful and I was like oh my god you know I was watching what I was posting I was being really careful and I was like what am I doing and then um, somebody said to me you know um, you know how was things with my mother um, and my mother wound work and literally I snapped at this woman and I was like okay that's not healed uh -uh. and even though I worked on mother hunger really hard in 2021 and I worked on the mother wound 22 I've worked on the mother wound this year um, I know there's still parts of me that need to create self-acceptance and healing for myself so anyways um, and there's this book that has shown up for me on Goodreads a couple of times and I looked at it and I was like it's time now you can either make a decision to either do your work as it comes up or you can play the avoidance game, OK? And you can go, I'm going to deal with that after Christmas. I'm going to do that because, you know, whatever, whatever. I would say, honestly, if stuff is coming up with you, deal with it. If you need help and support, reach out, OK? Um, there's plenty of people that will help you, myself included. But anyway, um, so I started doing this book and I wasn't really putting, you know, much effort into it. But there was things coming up for me and I was like just working through them. And anyway, um, on Monday, uh, Monday night, my twin reached out um, and that sent me into a state of a running, um, if, I'm, if I'm honest. But I wasn't running from her, although I was, I thought I was, um, but I was running from myself and she chased me and oh my god did she chase me energetically this is okay so while she didn't say hello um i know that she created an account and it was to say hey i'm watching you i'm keeping an eye on you in a really beautiful supportive way um and it sent me into an absolute meltdown if i'm fair um and anyways um things were quite uh intense for me um and i think thursday night i was awake for five hours and all I felt was the constant chasing and if any of you are in runner chaser have you ever been in that di dynamic oh my god like the chasing feeling is horrendous anyway Friday um, my ex-partner turned around and told me something that she met somebody else and um, it was the same name as my twin um, and that triggered something in with me which I'm so gratefully eternally grateful to her uh, for doing that for me um, and it really sent my inner child into a state of oh my god you know why her why you know that was our safe space etc so anyway um i then decided that it'd be really good for me to go back to where i used to walk with my twin because i'm not far from where she lives and um oh my god did i cry and i mean that honestly i sobbed my heart out friday um and i really have kept myself to myself all weekend but I've really sat with that abandonment massively, you know, and obviously the hardest one being, you know, for me, um, my parents and my family, they don't have anything to do with me. My mother abandoned me in 2021 again, you know, but she abandoned me throughout my life, to be fair. Um, and anyways, um, what I did was I literally realised, I think it was Friday afternoon, and I was like, hold on a minute, this massive headache and how I feel and being chased by my twin is because I'm running from myself. And do you ever get those light bulb moments? So anyway... Then I was like, right, I'm going to stop running from myself. I'm going to do my work. I'm going to sort my abandonment wound out. I'm going to sort my shit out. And that's what I've done. Um, and what I did, Saturday morning, I had that realisation. I woke up at 5am and I went, is your abandonment wound masked under mother? And I literally was like, wow. I took myself for a really nice long walk Saturday. Um, and then I came home and for five hours, I literally sat and I asked my higher shelf to show me each moment of my abandonment throughout my life and I allowed myself to feel that in a very safe space um, I didn't reach for any food I'm really proud of myself for that I think I gave myself a Snickers the whole weekend just as a little bit of a reward as you know a little bit of I can feel that I need some sugar because I don't feel too good but honestly I literally and this will help some of you I put a mind map okay and I put the words me in the middle yeah and then I, I literally said, who in my life has abandoned me? And I came up with six names of people that had truly, really hurt me abandonment-wise. 
And um, I literally, honestly, and this will help you, I was literally like, okay, why did they abandon me? What led up to it? What are the results after they abandoned me? And would I want that person back in my life to do whatever it is that they're doing? And then I also looked at where are they now as a result of potentially not possibly doing their work. And that was so cathartic. It really was. Oh, my God, I have cried, guys. I have cried, like, more than you can ever imagine. But you know what? Honestly, yesterday I woke up feeling a lot better. Took myself a really nice walk. Um, And then, literally, I sat and did more work on myself and looked at more things. Um, And then I woke up, uh, I think it was, no, is it last night? I started feeling better last night. And then this morning I woke up and I was like, oh, my God, that deep, empty, hollow feeling inside of me is gone. Don't even know what I mean by that. Like, so if any of you have been undermothered and you have been abandoned, there is like a vacuous, empty space inside of yourself. And this morning I woke up and I was like... I feel full, I feel warm, I feel toasty inside. And also, by the way, can I just say, I feel like I've lost loads of weight, but I haven't. But energetically, like, I feel like I am so much thinner. And that's because I've got rid of some of energetic debris and baggage. So, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. But honestly, just know your higher self, should you choose, can show you what has happened... You just have to put yourself in that state of being. But I feel so much better today. I really, really do. And I know that because I've tackled my abandonment wound, that means I can help people like yourself. We can either run from our healing or we can either turn around, face it and do it and feel better. I promise you, any of you contemplating doing some healing work or looking at yourself or doing self-reflection, you will feel better once you've released that energy. I've done so much tapping in the last two weeks on myself. Like, and this is one of my favourite tapping points here. I've noticed that. Linked to my kidneys, because um, I'm also studying that as a diploma at the moment. Um, anyways, let me know your thoughts. Um, as always, I'm really raw and honest and open with you guys. And you can either look at this and go, oh, poor cow, or you can look at this and go, well done, girl. I'm going to go and tackle some of my healing. I'm going to have a look at my abandonment wound need any help reach out apart from that you guys take care have a brilliant start to your week keep smiling and know that anything you do and any work you do on yourself i promise you it will help your children your partner and your family and it will stop the ancestral healing or it will help your ancestral healing and it will stop things passing on to other people around you and finally remember the more work you do on yourself the more people must drop off and disappear and go because you can only keep people in your energetic field that are aligned and matched with you. Have a great day. Enjoy yourself. Bye.